Well, did you think I was never going to make it? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Faith and Giggles virtual store tour. Well, in COVID style, 2020, everything that could go wrong went wrong, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Hi, Sandy. Yes, I've got one. <laughs> Anyways. Again, I'm sweating, always. Why can't I just be prepared? Why can't everything just go smooth? But it doesn't, and that's fine. That makes it all the more fun, right? <laughs> Hi, Joe. Thanks for joining, Kim. Thank you for joining. So, you guys, I'm so sorry I'm a couple minutes late. Hi, Jean. I'm going to tell you, you're going to see me swatting. There is a fly, and he's, he's harassing. Do you know how they are right now? They're, like, slow but determined, and they're, like, right on your head and they get tangled this one is following me around probably because i'm sweating and he senses my franticness <laughs> hey dev you joined us yay angie kathy yay so many fun people already on board all right guys um so really what i was trying to do is get batteries and everything i said i was going to do that earlier and get to myself i'm like get batteries in early so that you're ready to go at 6 30 sharp but then I had last minute customers, which is great. It was busy today, very busy. So I never got all the batteries. There's batteries in some things, but not in everything. And I obviously didn't comb my hair or do anything. <laughs> That's fine. So anyways, I think I've got them on everything that needs to have them. There might be a couple things that don't have them, but we'll get through it. It'll be great. So I also have a selfie stick now that I can use so my arm doesn't, so you don't have to be so close to me. It would bring you further away, but that I forgot at home as well, of course. <laughs> so anyways, here I am. I've got <laughs> I've got um, lots to show you. I've got 20 minutes to show you. Well, now I've got like 12. No, I'm just kidding. I don't, but I've already used about, about three minutes. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to start you right here. I'm going to turn you around here a little bit so you can see what we got. We'll start right here at the night lights. And I will tell you, I'm going to, at the end of this, shut all the lights out. We got to get a little bit further this way. I'm going to turn all the lights out so that you are able to see what it looks like with them off. It's very pretty right now, but I want you to be able to see what it looks like with the lights off. So here is a close-up of the fun new night lights. This is the newest thing that I got out. Well, no, that's not true. I did scarves and hats yesterday, but this was a couple days ago. So I'm just going to... Get, I'm sorry that this camera, so when I move to the right, it actually moves to the left. It's really goofy, so I can't quite maneuver this very well. I don't know what my problem is tonight. <laughs> so I'm going to just show you these. Look at how pretty this one is. Whoa. If you want prices for everything or for anything, just ask. I will try to do everything I can to get you the prices of the things you need. However, if I don't get them while we are doing this live, please know that I will go back and review it. This is one that I did not get in my video that I posted. I found this afterwards. This one is one of those that has a fan in it and it swirls like the Cardinal you just saw. Of course, this is one of my favorites. This one, I'm gonna show you this. So it doesn't have a fan in it, but it's got a really thick gel in it and when you put it in, every once in a while, okay, hold on now. Oh, yeah, now I'm going to do this with one hand. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Hold on. <laughs> oh, jeez. Sorry. That was not professional. But one tip over upside down like that, and this gel really... <laughs> okay, I'm just going to stop there. It sits in there. You can see how it just kind of slowly kind of hangs out in there. So it takes, like, at the end of the day, it's going to be down to the bottom again. But for the most part, it will, it will just kind of stay floating, is what I'm trying to say, for most of the time at night, when anybody's going to see it. If you have in the bathroom, you have guests over or something. The pumpkin light is $19. All right, here's another really cutie. Look at this guy. Look at that sleepy bear. Did I miss a, did I miss a question? I hope not. <laughs> these are new this year. We've never had these little mice. I don't think anyways, I don't remember. 
that little guy. Oops, I went kind of fast. The bubble light, that one works really cute. I like that one a lot. That's kind of one of those things that's old fashioned, makes me think of old fashioned stuff. Um, three light, and you know, all of these are really interesting. They've got swivels, pretty much all of them, you can swivel them. The plug also, you can turn it. So sometimes the larger prong is on one side and the smaller prong receptor is on the other. You can, this part right, right here, you can switch so that you can do the prong, large prong on either side. You can do it on an angle. It's really interesting how these work. They have a lot of maneuvers that you can um, adjust them according to your plugs. This one is super cute. Reindeer. This one we've had before, but I love him. <laughs> He's cute. Snowman. These guys are always very popular. Our little snowman couple. We have this one. We have a lot of night lights in our house. Well, we have dogs, as most of you know. So they have to have, and they're old, so they have to have night lights so they can see if they're up during the night looking around to see what's going on. Sometimes they do that. So this snowman, he's a little more expensive. $35, that's one of our most expensive night lights, but that's because he's, oh, I'm sorry for my camera work. That's because of the fan that's in there. Can you see that, how it blows around? And there you go, Merry Christmas. Okay, that's, oh, you know what, that's why, because I'm gonna change something here. I wonder if this will work better. Oh, there we go. Now the words are right. Okay, boy, that didn't take me <laughs> too long. Okay, um, well, since I'm on this side, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go right here and remind you that we have these um, kitchen boas and we have a lot of holiday ones. I don't have them all out yet, but we have Christmassy ones. This is one of these things where you can use this instead of the towel over your shoulder, you can throw this over your neck, you know, with your, you can use it as a hot pad, kind of. You can use it as a towel as you're drying dishes or cooking. And we have all different designs in those. Those are called the kitchen boas. They're only $22. And then we have lots of kitchen towels, the kinds with the hook, without the hook. We have wine theme. Here's one of those fun things we just, it's just a tchotchke, but it's like a little cookie spatula it's not meant for something real hot hot but for your cookies it works great they're only like five bucks or something six bucks don't quote me on that but they're cheap <laughs> this is one of our beauties the birdcage cardinal lantern this one is 64 dollars. look how pretty that is i don't know i don't think i posted this i took a video of it our little gnomey Four dollars, Jason. Thank you. Jason's watching. Yes, Jason, you came through with the price. So our little spatulas here. Look how cute. Four bucks. That's cheap. And they're cute. Now we've had these marshmallows before, but I love these. They're individually wrapped. They're only eight bucks for the whole bag. So that's kind of a fun thing. You can separate them amongst like stockings or Cups, you know, if you buy a little Christmas mug and you can throw some in there as a little a cute little gift. All right, this is another one that people love. I love this one. The church, we have this one. So look at that, how sparkly this is. I love this one. $54, the sparkly churches. You guys, we are really bringing out Christmas early. Um, oh, hey, little gnome. <laughs> He's hiding down there. People want the Christmas, people are shopping early. I've heard lots of different reasons, but mostly I'm hearing that people are afraid small businesses will close. People are afraid, well, what if they get sick themselves? They wanna be prepared or someone they care for and they have to stay home or quarantine or, you know, we don't know there's so much cattywampus things going on that we wanna be prepared. Oh, I didn't turn this one on. Oh, the batteries are dead on that one. Oh no, there it is. That one's pretty. Anyways, so people are shopping early. They want to avoid crowds. So I'm going to start a little campaign. You know, shop early, shop smart, shop safe. Not shop smart. Shop early, shop safe. <laughs> 
you know, just avoiding the crowds, getting things done ahead of time. I think we're all a little bit on the same page. Um, I don't normally bring Christmas out quite so early, but this year I really am. I'm, I'm hoping to have things all out by the end of the month, by October 31st. That is my goal. I don't know if it's going to happen, but that's what I'm going to try and do. So this year I'm also telling you that because if there's things you see that you like and you know you really want to get, don't wait until you know, don't wait, I guess. I don't, not trying to be a salesperson. People who know us know we're not like that, but just letting you know what things are looking like. People are really shopping early and we're going to sell out of stuff and we're not going to just restock on how, we don't really, you know, on seasonal stuff because the idea is to sell it. We don't want to get stuck with it either in case something terrible happens. These are really cute. Now I have one hand, so I'm not going to be able to do this, but they wind up, they play music and then this turns when you wind it up and turn music. I need a second person to help me with this. But look at these neat cutout wooden houses and sceneries. These are so pretty. This one is 58. Oh, Tammy, yes, I'm going <laughs> to. Or did I buy them all? <laughs> yes, Tammy, I'm going to show the purses. <laughs> This turns too, but it play. You have to wind it so it's the battery operated. That's where the lights are coming from, and then you wind it at the bottom, and then there's a musical tune in this turns. So that's what's going on with that. I'm gonna show you. Let's see what else do I want to show you over here. Oh, look at this little guy hiding up here. Nobody even knows he's there. <laughs> I have. Whoa. We've got a pate going on over here. <laughs> I love these guys. I'm sorry. They've got little beanbag bottoms. These guys are only nine bucks. They're super cute. They got a whole family of them. And then the little felt wool trees. I think they're so pretty. They're different sizes, different prices. 16 for the small, 20 for the large. They're really not that expensive at all. And you guys, the most beautiful Christmas cards. Holy cow. We've got tons. We've got religious and just um, nature and every day. Not every day. That doesn't make sense. Why did I say that? Just like, you know, nature-y, animals, farm, and religious. Really, really pretty Christmas cards. These boxed ones, too. Look at There's a really pretty box you get with it, too. So all different prices. Here's, of course, my favorite glitter globe. Oh yeah, the dog nativity. We have almost enough dogs to make this happen. <laughs> you just wait. It is my goal to recreate this nativity scene with my dogs, with our dogs. So that's something you can look forward to watching. And look at this, you guys. I posted a video of this. Look at the snowman has no nose. Where's his nose? Where's his arm? Guess what? Look at the carrot in his mouth. And when you, t when you wind this up, it turns, and this dog has the arm in his mouth. When these came in, I thought they were defective because I forgot what we ordered in January or February. <laughs> and that's what it is. They're super, super cute. Okay, just a quick glimpse again. We have got just a smidgen of selection of Old World Christmas ornaments. Our number one being the COVID 2020 toilet, which we are going to personalize for anybody who wants it. <laughs> we don't need the plunger because we don't want it clearing. We want it to get, well, maybe we do. We want the 2020 to get the heck out of here. Goodbye. Anyways, but we've got just a smidgen. This is literally probably 10% of what we have in Old World Christmas. And I will tell you that... I am going to be doing something different this year. You're going to be so excited. If you've been in our store before at Christmas, you know where the Christmas trees normally go. But this year, I'm going to back up here. This year, I'm going to do Christmas right down the center here. Do you see? We've got, see these posts? We never had power on those posts before. Now we've got outlets. We had that done this week, this um, this year. So my Christmas trees are going to be down the center. So when you walk in the front door, which is where I'm standing with my back to, 
Um, what you're going to see are the Christmas trees and ornaments, and it's going to be beautiful, and I can't wait, but that's coming soon. For now, look what's here. Other fun stuff. Our new scarves we just got in, and I've been putting out lots of nice, warm, fuzzy, thick scarves, and so soft. This, this grouping right here, oh gosh, I don't know what fabric that is, but it is so, so soft. And then we've got some of these, you know, thicker blanket scarves that are also just so beautiful. They're soft. <laughs> okay, Jason. <laughs> I think we have one or two prank boxes left. Can you believe that, Jason? <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, so yeah, some more scarves. We sold a few of them already in the last couple of days. I just got them out, but we're already selling them. And there's more here. So come back over on this section. I couldn't get them all onto the rack, but some of these bigger blanket scarves, some of the different patterns. I love this. What is that, Argyle, Gargyle? Ar no, it's not Gargyle. What am I nuts? It's Argyle. <laughs> I can't believe I said Gargyle. And then wraps. We've got wraps and you know different things like that, ponchos. If we had a second person here, I could show you some of those, I'm sorry. But next Wednesday, I'm gonna be doing another live a little bit longer. I said I was only gonna make it 20 minutes and that doesn't leave me much time. So I'm gonna zoom over here. I'm just gonna show you, here's some more warm fuzzy scarf, blanket scarves, some pillows. I gotta start scooting. Hey Mark, Kathy. Okay, we've got handmade wool Martin, wool, <laughs> handmade, Wool mittens locally, $23, great price. This basket is full of them and we've got more and we'll keep them coming. We've got Times. Yes, who just said that? Wait, what did I miss? Linda, thank you. And we've got some men's designs too. Are the wraps glutinous free? <laughs> Mark, I'm pretty sure they're gluten free. I think you're okay with that. Tell Holly, she's okay. Look at this lovely, <laughs> I love this guy. Look at this gnome. So we've got some Frasier for Times left, the diffusers. We've got more coming in. We did actually order a few more of these. The Reed Diffuser Refills, the Home Fragrance. And look at this gigantic three-wick candle. Look at how beautiful that is. And the smell. And then these are all the candles. Sorry for the bad camera work there. <laughs> Yes, Terry, there were some norm, gnomes. I have more too. I'm gonna head over this way to a few more gnomes. Oh, wait. First, I gotta stop here and I gotta show you the purses. I'm gonna take a step back. Okay, so we've got a nice selection. Oh, wait, let me back up. Ooh, ooh I don't wanna make anybody dizzy. Did you see the backpacks? I'm just gonna show you those real quick. These are all new colors. This green, this wineish color, and this kind of a gray steel. So we've got those right now. And then we've got these bags. My I posted on some of these bags before. I'm sorry, I was gonna put you on a tripod so that I could show you more of the details. I think this is one of my favorites, my new favorites. I don't know, I have so many, what, what am I talking about? But you guys, look at this. It's got the front pocket. It's a, I have, this is the one I love, okay? got that front pocket and by the way they all have an extra bag inside with a crossbody this is similar to that but it's a little more compact and a little more like stylish thicker thicker um oh gosh shoulder straps and it's a little more little more hardware on them as you can see than the other one so uh, a little more rustic and like I said if I could open that up for you you'd see that there's a whole nother purse on the inside and it's beautiful on the inside and here's some more smaller versions of that I'll try to set up what I'll do is next Wednesday when I do this live I'm going to have a tripod that way I can use two hands and show you more about the inside of some of these bags pockets look at the colors of these these are all brand new colors for the fall that just came out love this this is two pockets in the front there and these are kind of similar to this bag but it's a little bit smaller can you see that but it's still got that zip pocket it can also be used as a crossbody as this one can if you're traveling 
that would be perfect. <clears throat> if I was going anywhere besides home and Faith and Giggles and back home, I would definitely buy that bag. <laughs> I would take one of these home, but I don't need it because I would use that as a travel bag. It's everything you need. And look at this beauty. This is also another good one. You can use it as a little handbag or a crossbody. New colors for the fall. I love this one. It's a little bit slimmer, smaller, but just the right size in my opinion. I love these. These are more of a fancy lady bag. <laughs> oh, there's more of that. There's another one of that style right there. I should know the names of these styles so I could actually mention them, but you know, I just call them this neat one and that neat one. I don't really know the names of them. I gotta do that. That's something I gotta work on, I guess. These are also very nice with these little toggles that hang down. Again, everything we ordered from this last shipment is all new colors. Some new styles. Now this is this is not a new color new color. That one we've had before. But this these are new colors for the season. Okay, and we've got some little hand be or um little cross bodies. We've had these before. Okay. So I'm going to kind of move on, you guys, because I'm already past my 20 minutes. What the heck was I thinking? Okay, I am going to make it in half an hour, though, that's for sure. These are nice, too. A little bit smaller. They also have a smaller crossbody bag on the inside. And these are super cute. I like this one. You can use this shorter strap, like a shoulder strap, or it comes with this longer crossbody snap. Do you see how that goes? They have both straps that come with it. We have this taupey color, brownish taupe of black, and this bluish, whatever color that is, gray. These are great. Gnomes, Terry wants gnomes. She says, just get me to the gnomes. <laughs> Here's a gnome, Terry. Look at him. He's hanging. This guy's got like weighted hands, weighted little paws. So you can hang him from a bookshelf. You can hang him. See how we have them? These guys are super cute. Look at this guy. He's just hanging around. This guy's hanging in the drawer. So those are, we've got those gnomes. We've got more gnomes that are not out yet, but here's some little ones. And those little guys are $9. And the big guys over here are $22. But look at some of these. So we've got these little plaques. Now I'm going fast. I gotta slow down. We still have some of these sweet little pumpkins. I love these with the little um, succulents on top. They're $12. Here's some more light up things. We have battery operated lamps. This is a new one this year. We have not had this one before, battery operated. We still have some of the bee lights. Those are also battery operated. And I love these little salt and pepper shakers. There you go, they go like that. And then there's a little woodland animals. We've got a few of those laying around. Those are all little ornaments actually. This guy I love. Look at this moose just hanging out amongst the succulents. He's a real cutie. Got this little snowman. I think his battery is actually starting to fail because he's a little bit duller than he normally is. But check out this one. Some of these are, um, you can use a adapter for like a power adapter so you can plug them in or batteries, but all of them have the op option of batteries. Some of them only have the option of a electrical outlet or adapter. So check this out. You guys, these are wine box, wine caddies, and they have lights that come with them. This has been one of our big sellers really for the last few years. We, we sell a lot of these. When we get them in, they always go right away. You put a bottle of wine in there and light up the lights. It makes a great gift. 26 bucks only, and that comes with the lights. Here's some more of our light up things. I think I showed you this one already, but this one is super. Look at this wreath, by the way, in the background. I can't believe this is still here. Well, it's pricey, $54, a little bit pricey, but it's absolutely beautiful. I just love it. 
it's gonna come home with me if nobody buys it. Anyways, this one is really pretty. It looks like a little wine bottle. 40, $42. I love these little guys. This one's actually a musical. Merry Christmas. Did I show you this one already? Yikes, sorry. I'm losing it. Got snowmen and cardinal lamps, lanterns. Remember, if you want to know the price of something, make sure you let me know. I might not be able to stop now because I promise I would be done. Well, I said 20 minutes, but I'm for sure going to be done in a half an hour. But, oh, I didn't turn this guy on. Oh, I guess I did, but his battery is dead. <laughs> I'm going to go shut the lights out right now. That's what I was going to do before I showed you these. Duh. Okay, I'm going to just slowly make my way over here. The snowmen are great. Look at all these fun mugs and soup bowls. It's supposed to be this way. I missed it. Love these. These pretty little angels. And look at these down here. Oops, slow, Wendy. I don't want to make anybody sick. Mommy and me snow mugs. You pair this with those marshmallows that I showed you in the beginning. What a fun gift, right? Okay, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to get us over to the lights. And I'm going to shut them off. Oh, then I got to show you these hats today. If you haven't seen... Okay, turn that off. Hold on. Turn this, this off. Okay, I think that should work. All right, so did you see my video with uh, light up hats? I'm so sorry if I'm making anybody dizzy. I'm trying not to turn so fast. Hi, Jamie, you're on, yay. Okay, hold on. There, okay. So, check it out. Oops. Oh, that's really bright. <laughs> So you guys, these are, wow, that's really bright. These lights are rechargeable, just a USB port. You just take this out. Can you see how you can just, this pops out. I can't do it with one hand. This cap comes off and it plugs right into your computer or whatever you want to charge it, whatever you want to use to charge it. So we have all the different blaze orange and camo and all the different colors. This is great for hunters, for I use it for at night with the dogs outside. <laughs> oh no, did it stop? No, it's still live, Jamie. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm going to head over. Oh yeah, just so you know, we also, I didn't mean to show these either, but we've got some great, some fall, but we're running low on the fall, but we've got a lot of holiday inserts for your doormats. Lots of, lots and lots and lots of holiday. But I don't have time to show you because I got to get done. So I'm going to run over here so that you can see everything looking pretty at night. I know the hats are, are just awesome. They're $16 and $18. The camo and the blaze orange are 18. The other solid colors are 16. So look how pretty this looks. And you guys, seriously, I don't even have Christmas hardly started. I probably have about 10% of Christmas out right now. So I know I've been showing you some Christmas stuff, but it's literally just a fraction. I am just beginning to bring it out. I have so much to do and decorate and bring out. It is going to be so beautiful in here. It is beautiful already. Oh, I didn't show you the hats. Now it's dark. You can't see it too well. I can't believe this glass is still here. Witchiest, witchy, witchy, witchier, witchest. It's a wine glass. <laughs> $18. We got two of them left. Those are fun. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I didn't even turn around and show you this section. We got this fun book by a local author. We've got the cute little ghosts and light-up lanterns and little pumpkins. These are like four bucks, little adorable guys. Look at the little party going on down here. A little plates. I'm sorry it's so dark. I already turned the lights off because I forgot to show you this when it was light out. Pillows. and But these are the hats. We got lots of really nice. Some of them are lined with felt and some of them are not. They're very, very pretty. 
Okay, and then back to the back to the sparklies. And oh, look at these down here. Okay, so these are mousse. This decor, right? Cutouts, wooden cutouts. But look at these little lanterns behind them. I don't have them turned on because I forgot. But look at how neat they would be in a little village setting. I don't know if you can get a good shot at that. You can see they're not lit up, but they do light up. They're battery operated. They're super cute. So pretty. Look at this. I love it. This is just the beginning. I know it's very early. I'm not going to apologize for having so much Christmas out. <laughs> I'm just not. I think we all need it. I think we all need the, the meaning of Christmas, the feeling of what Christmas means to us, which usually involves family and things of that nature, friends, loved ones. And I think that I am not going to apologize because we all need that Christmas spirit. It's going to be okay. We're going to get through it all. And I am excited to bring out more of it. Look at, this is the only Christmas tree I have right now out, but it is just the beginning. <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks for hanging in there. Look at the clock over my shoulder there. I'm way over my time. I thought I could just, you know, make that happen in 20 minutes, but it just didn't. So thanks for sticking with me. <laughs> yes, Terry, it's time to Christmas shop. Come out, shop safe, shop early. Avoid the crowds. Make sure, you know, avoid waiting to the last minute and who knows what might go wrong in the future. <laughs> Maybe somebody we're taking care of gets sick or you just have to be, you've been around somebody who has COVID and now you got a quarantine. Now you can't get out in Christmas shop. So I'm encouraging people to shop early. I think it's a great idea. I'm going to do it myself. And I want to remind everybody that um, we are still doing, we are still going to do a uh, curbside pickup. If you see things that you like, or if you see things that I post online, be sure to follow us on Facebook. You're already probably following us if you're watching this, but I post so much, there's that fly. It was right here when he was attacking me before. I post lots of stuff. If you see something, but you don't wanna come in and shop, you can call us and we can ship it. You can pick it up curbside, just call us when you're coming, pay for it with a credit card online. You can, we can even work out a delivery if that's necessary. So you guys were willing to try and make anything work so that you can get your Christmas gifts and shop small. And we really appreciate that. And we, not just shopping in Faith and Giggles, but Hartford, we really encourage you. Or if you're in a different town, shop local, support your local businesses. We are all in need of your support extra this year. So thank you all. And next Wednesday, I'm gonna be doing this again and I'm gonna be doing more new stuff because I'm gonna be working hard through this weekend and next week to get more Christmas out. And hopefully I'll have some of the trees right here in the front, which is what I cannot wait. I cannot tell you how excited I am about that. Okay, everybody, thanks and have a great weekend. Good night.